Do you often take painkillers to treat everyday fatigue or aches? While they provide quick relief, this common habit can damage your kidneys. Yes, it is true. It is not the only habit. Many others can also be detrimental to your kidney health. And your kidneys won't heal if you do these things daily. So in today's video, let's explore 10 everyday things that could be damaging your kidneys and what you can do to stop them. Let's begin. Number one, consuming too much salt. Salt is a common ingredient used in almost all meals for seasoning. However, when you consume too much salt, it can negatively affect your kidneys. One of the main reasons is that it contains sodium, which is basically its main component. Sodium is essential for many important functions in the body. It helps manage the balance of fluids in the body. But if you eat too much salt, it can disturb this balance, which makes it harder for your kidneys to filter water efficiently. This also retains fluid in the body and increases the fluid volume of blood, which results in high blood pressure, the second leading cause of kidney issues, including kidney failure. This is because high blood pressure damages the blood vessels that supply kidneys and reduces blood supply to kidneys. This can strain kidneys and affect their filtration ability. Moreover, your kidneys have to work hard to filter excess sodium, which can further strain them. So if you want to heal your kidneys, and have better kidney health, limit your salt intake. It is generally recommended to consume around 2,300 milligrams of salt every day, which is around one teaspoon. However, if you have kidney issues or high blood pressure, reduce this intake to 1,500 milligrams per day. You can simply do this by making some routine habits. For example, check nutrition labels, choose lower sodium options, avoid processed foods, cook at home, and use alternative herbs and spices for flavor instead of salt. Number two, consuming excessive sugar. Sugar is found in almost all diets, even often hidden in foods and drinks that do not taste sweet. It is the primary source of energy for the human body, and it is fine to eat sugar in small amounts. However, remember that consistently consuming too much sugar can damage your kidneys in several ways. First, Excess sugar in your diet can cause weight gain and obesity. Extra weight puts stress on your kidneys and forces them to work hard to filter waste and manage fluid balance. Secondly, a high sugar intake increases your risk of developing type 2 diabetes, which is one of the main risk factors for kidneys. It causes high blood sugar levels, which can damage the blood vessels in your kidneys and cause diabetic nephropathy a common cause of kidney disease that can eventually result in kidney failure if not properly managed. Moreover, high sugar consumption can also contribute to high blood pressure, which further strains your kidneys and damages them. So if you want to heal your kidneys, limit your sugar intake. For this, read labels, choose options with zero sugar or low sugar, and avoid sugary drinks, processed snacks, and desserts. Instead, opt for natural sugars from fruits and use spices like cinnamon to add flavor without added sugars. Number three, eating processed foods. Processed foods are convenient and tasty options, but if you eat them daily, they can harm your kidneys. This is because these foods are usually high in ingredients like sodium, sugar, unhealthy fats, and preservatives, which can be problematic for your kidneys. As mentioned earlier, the high sodium content in processed foods can raise your blood pressure which is a major risk factor for kidney disease. On the other hand, sugar can also negatively affect kidneys by causing obesity, diabetic nephropathy, and high blood pressure. Moreover, most processed foods are also low in essential nutrients and high in additives that create an acidic environment in your body. This can put extra strain on your kidneys as they work to balance your body's pH levels. Processed foods also often contain high amounts of phosphorus, for people with kidney disease, it is important to limit phosphorus intake. This is because damaged kidneys have to work harder to remove this excess mineral, which can burden them, and they may still not be able to remove it effectively. This can result in a buildup of phosphorus in the blood and cause other serious health complications. In fact, high phosphorus intake from processed foods can also be harmful even to those without kidney disease. So if you want to heal your kidneys, Limit processed foods and focus on a diet with whole, natural foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Number four, 
Overusing painkillers. We often use painkillers like ibuprofen, aspirin, and naproxen for treating routine fatigue and pains, and they are very effective and helpful. However, remember that overusing them can seriously harm your kidneys. This is because these medications reduce blood flow to the kidneys, which can degrade their function over time. In fact, frequent use of painkillers can cause a condition known as analgesic nephropathy, which damages the kidneys and may result in chronic kidney disease. This damage is often permanent and can cause a gradual loss of kidney function. So to protect your kidneys, use painkillers only when necessary and consult your doctor if you are using painkillers regularly. They can help you find safer alternatives or treat any underlying issues causing your pain and fatigue. Number five, not drinking enough water. Water is vital for proper kidney function because the kidneys rely on adequate hydration to effectively filter waste products from the blood and excrete them as urine. However, if you drink insufficient water or become dehydrated, your kidneys have to work harder to remove these wastes. This can result in a buildup of waste in the body and can cause the kidneys to become clogged with muscle proteins called myoglobin. This can cause many kidney issues like kidney stones, urinary tract infections, and in severe cases, acute kidney injury. Moreover, chronic dehydration causes urine to become concentrated as there is not enough water to dilute it. This can irritate the kidneys and increase the risk of developing kidney stones. So, to prevent these issues, maintain proper hydration by drinking enough water throughout the day. A general guideline is to aim for at least eight glasses of water daily. However, if you live in a hot climate or do physical activity, you may need more. Number six, holding in your urine. Holding in urine is another common habit due to busy schedules or being preoccupied with tasks, but this can have serious effects on your bladder and kidney health. This is because when you frequently hold in urine, you place excessive pressure on your bladder, which can cause bladder stretching or weakened muscles over time. This results in incomplete bladder emptying and increases the risk of urinary tract infections, UTIs. If left untreated, these infections can travel to the kidneys and can cause serious kidney infections. Additionally, regularly delaying urination can also contribute to the formation of kidney stones, as minerals in the urine have more time to crystallize. So, to heal your kidneys and protect them from these issues, make it a priority to respond to the urge to urinate and avoid holding it in for extended periods. Number seven, drinking too much alcohol. We all know drinking alcohol has many negative effects on brain, liver, and heart health, but excessive consumption can also have serious consequences for your kidneys. This is because kidneys are responsible for filtering toxins, including alcohol, from your blood. When you drink too much, your kidneys must have to work harder to process and remove the alcohol. This can burden them. Moreover, alcohol consumption also increases urine production, which causes dehydration. Dehydration reduces blood flow to the kidneys and reduces their ability to filter waste effectively. Heavy alcohol use over time also contributes to high blood pressure, a major risk factor for kidney disease. Additionally, excessive drinking is linked to a higher risk of developing kidney stones, which can damage the kidneys. So it is important to totally avoid or limit alcohol consumption to moderate levels. And if you struggle to control your alcohol consumption, seek help from a healthcare professional or support group. They can help you get rid of this addiction. Number eight, ignoring high blood pressure. High blood pressure or hypertension affects millions of people worldwide. However, ignoring it can have serious issues for your kidney health. As mentioned earlier, it puts extra strain on the blood vessels throughout your body, including those in your kidneys. Over time, this increased pressure can damage the blood vessels in the kidneys and degrade their ability to filter waste effectively. And if it is not managed properly, kidney damage can worsen over time and result in kidney failure. So it is essential to monitor and manage high blood pressure proactively. This involves regular checkups, adhering to prescribed medications, and making lifestyle changes such as a balanced diet, regular exercise, and stress management. Number nine, smoking. Smoking is often recognized for its harmful effects on the lungs and heart, but its effects on the kidneys are equally concerning. When you smoke, toxic chemicals travel through your bloodstream and reach your kidneys, where they cause inflammation and damage your blood vessels. 
This damage reduces the kidney's ability to filter blood efficiently, which results in a buildup of harmful substances in your body. Additionally, smoking decreases blood flow to the kidneys, which further affects their function and increases the risk of chronic kidney disease. Smokers also face a greater risk of developing kidney cancer, especially if they smoke heavily or for extended periods. Moreover, beyond direct damage, smoking can worsen other risk factors for kidney disease, such as high blood pressure and diabetes. So quitting smoking is essential to improve your kidney health. Although it might not be easy for you, you can get help from support groups and nicotine replacement therapies. They can help you quit smoking and support your journey to better kidney health. Number 10, eating too much meat. Eating large amounts of meat, especially red meat, can also be concerning for your kidneys. This is because animal proteins, such as those found in beef, lamb, and pork, produce significant amounts of acid in the blood. This acid can overwhelm the kidneys and cause a condition called acidosis, where the kidneys struggle to balance the body's acid levels. Moreover, while protein is essential for many body functions, overconsumption of red meat has been linked to increased risks of chronic kidney disease and end-stage renal disease. Research indicates that people who consume large quantities of red meat are at a higher risk of kidney issues compared to those who consume it in moderation. So, to maintain your kidney health, moderate your red meat intake and include a diverse range of protein sources in your diet. Add fish, poultry, and plant-based proteins like beans and legumes. They can help you balance your nutrient intake and reduce the strain on your kidneys. This balanced approach supports overall kidney function and helps prevent potential health issues. These are the 10 daily habits that can be detrimental to your kidneys. Thanks for watching. If found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to our channel for more informative content.